is Skims worth it? So I spent $500 on Skims loungewear to see if it's really worth the price because this brand definitely has a lot of hype. I feel like I see Skims all over Instagram and TikTok and I have never tried it myself. When I posted my Kylie swim review, like six or so months ago, people were very split in the comments. Some people said I would never buy something from a Kardashian brand because it's all bad. And other people were so surprised that Kylie Swim was so bad because they loved Skims. If you guys are unfamiliar with Skims, one of the co-founders is Kim Kardashian. I think we all know who Kim Kardashian is. But something that I found interesting is that the co-founder was recently on Shark Tank. I watch a lot of Shark Tank. I find it very entertaining. Her name is Emma Greed. I'm not sure if I'm saying her last name right, but she's also the CEO of Good American, which is another like inclusive brand. So I only bought the Skims loungewear today. I didn't buy any of their shapewear or undergarments. I can do a video on that in the future if that interests you guys. But as I started adding things to my cart, I already had $500 of loungewear. I was not gonna spend like another $500 to also do shapewear for this to be like an hour long video. So we just, we chose the loungewear for today. So the brand definitely seems to have a very body positivity, size inclusive focus. When you scroll on the website, you see bodies of all shapes and sizes, all different colors. For all of their nude shaped undergarments, they have like 10 different ranges of nude. So really trying to fit everyone's different skin tone. That's like more shades than some foundation brands have. And the size range for most items seems to be extra, extra small to 4XL. So I really think that they are covering their bases in terms of inclusivity. All thoughts about the Kardashians aside, I really don't pay attention to what they do at all. If I see anything about them, it just happens to come up on my feed because they're talked about a lot. But I don't have anything personally against the Kardashians and I like supporting women owned brands, especially since I feel like a lot of brands preach inclusivity and everything, but they don't always deliver. And I feel like even just looking at the color and size options of Skims, they definitely are doing their best. I definitely feel like they're trying to be a luxury brand. Their prices have definitely seen higher. Like I don't feel like it's as expensive as some luxury brands, but for example, a lot of the bottoms were like, 50 to $60 and tops are anywhere from like 30 to $60. So you're definitely paying around $100 or more if you want a full outfit. And I got a lot of stuff today. I went with a size small on most items because that's where the size chart puts me. Kind of makes sense. That's my normal active wear loungewear size. Anyways, let's start trying some stuff on. Okay, so first of all, seems like everything comes in a recyclable box with compostable bags. I love to see companies doing the compostable bags, although they're not very durable. It's like they really only need to last until they get to you. Let's start out with the cozy knit. I feel like a lot of brands have tried to do their own version of this cozy knit. Like Aerie has a version of this, Buff Bunny has the loop yarn, and I'm sure even more brands. So I got the cozy knit shorts. These come in more of like a size range, not like individual sizes. So these are a small medium. And it is definitely very soft and super plush. So I'm liking how it feels so far. This is what appealed to me most because I love like super cozy soft things, which is why I feel like I like the cozy knit more than like the waffle. This is the color Garnet. These are $58 and they do allow returns, but you have to keep the tags attached. And this material is a 76% polyester, 24% nylon. It feels like they have an elastic waistband in here, but it's not one of those like super stiff elastics. It actually feels a little bit softer than some. So I like that because nothing ruins a nice soft piece of loungewear, like a super stiff elastic that's going to cut into you. So here's a close up of the fabric, super stretchy, super soft like it's just as soft as it looks and they definitely look like they're going to be pretty high rise and they also have a good amount of length to them it's hard to even see the seams on this stuff because it's such a plush fabric but let's just jump right in and try these on and here are the shorts they're not quite as i expected i'm just gonna roll up this shirt for a second like they're snug on my thighs but they're huge on my waist like they're like hanging off my waist like i don't really think i'm supposed to wear them down here because then the crotch is low. So yeah, I just, I don't really love the sizing of this. And because it's just an elastic, not a drawstring, I can't adjust the waist at all. Is it meant to be rolled over? That's possible. You could roll it and that's better, but I feel like it's, it looks like a little awkwardly thick and I prefer like a nice high rise. No pockets or anything. I think this fabric is probably just like too delicate to really hold much without having it like sag down. So I understand the lack of pockets here. And it's got like a decent short inseam. It's definitely the kind of lounge short where you're never gonna like flash anyone because it's not super loose and short. So you're definitely gonna be fully covered in the glute area. And I guess cause it's so stretchy, I probably could size down in the shorts and have it be more snug on my waist and still be okay in the thigh area but I'm just not loving the fit of these. And I worry if I got the pant version of these that because of this loose waist, they would kind of fall down over time because of all that fabric weighing it down. I don't know, I don't think these are quite living up 
to my expectations. Okay, to go with it, I have the Cozy Knit Tank. This is also in a small medium. It seems like kind of big for a small medium just because the fabric is so stretchy that I assumed it would kind of like look a little smaller and then like stretch out to fit you. This top is $52, so I definitely feel like it's expensive for just like a little tank. It has some ribbing at the bottom to kind of cinch it in a little bit and just two little tank straps. I feel like most of the fabric was pretty like densely knit and everything, but just holding this up, I feel like some of the areas have like big holes in them. Like right here, you can just definitely see that standout area that feels kind of like a hole, but. So sometimes I question the durability of these kind of like yarn knit fabrics, but let's try one. Okay, so I couldn't really figure out what was the front or the back of this shirt, but I don't think it really matters because they both seem like kind of scooped. It's hard to hide a bra underneath this. Call me crazy, but I like to wear a bra all the time because I don't like to feel like my girls are, you know, held and secured. So I feel like it's a little challenging to wear a bra underneath this and not have it show, but if this is just for home, like, does it really matter if my bra straps are showing? So the fabric is super soft and stretchy. It's definitely like a snug fit. I thought it was going to be a little more relaxed. So I would stay true to size for this one because it also still has like a ton of stretch to it. I worry that like after you stretch it for a while, it might like loosen up a bit. So keep that in mind. If you're in between sizes, like if you're like an extra small medium, I'd probably choose the extra small range. You don't want it to be too big. But the fabric is super, super cozy on this. Um, I'm not having any issues other than that little hole, I guess, but you can't really see it when it's on. So I think that's okay. And yeah, this is just as cozy as I thought. So I like it. Okay, moving in to something else. We're going to try the soft lounge slip dress. This is in the color Heather Gray and it is, <laughs> Literally just a little lounge dress that feels just like a cotton material. And this one's $68. And this seems like the kind of cami tops that you can find at like Nordstrom Rack, Target and everything for like way cheaper. Like the cozy knits definitely felt like something like extra soft and special. This one is seeming a little bit basic for a $70 dress, which I'm just saying right now, I haven't even put it on yet, but I wouldn't spend the money on this. First of all, the fabric is like kind of sheer. I can see a lot of light through it. It's a 91% modal, 9% spandex. I also got this in a small and it just has little adjustable straps. And I hope it's long enough for me. It looks like it definitely comes out a bit at the hips. So here's a close up of the fabric. It's just kind of like a stretchy cotton like material. And as we can see, it's just not super opaque, which is fine as long as you can't see anything underneath it. And then another thing to think about with this dress is it doesn't have any sort of like lining for bra support. And these straps are too thin for me to hide my own bra straps underneath. I just don't know if this would be super wearable. Let's try it on. Okay, and the skims stands are, are not gonna like this, but I think you're crazy for spending $70 on this dress. This is just an elongated cami top without even a bra lining. Like I just, I can't, I can't get behind this. So first of all, the straps are super thin. So you can't wear a bra underneath and not have the bra straps show. And the material is so thin. Like you can see my nail color through it. So personally, I don't feel comfortable not wearing a bra under this. It's not gonna have any support. You might even see the colors of your nips under this. And that's just not something I'm comfortable with. It is super stretchy. Is it cute? Sure. But it's gonna show like every lump and bump just because it's so thin. I I think the length is pretty good for me. It's like mid thigh. So it might be closer to like knee length for some people. But yeah, there's just nothing special about this. I appreciate that the straps are adjustable, but there are some things worth the money here today. And I just, I just don't think this is the one. Okay, let's move along to the waffle, which I also feel like a bunch of brands have tried to make their own waffle. Not that this waffle was like a new fabric. It's like a waffle knit. They definitely have a wide range of neutral colors, but the website was pretty picked over. Um, I don't know if they just like haven't restocked a bunch since like Black Friday. I don't know what kind of company they are, if they're a little more like launch based or if they just try to keep restocking the same products. Okay, now that I've seen the inside of the waffle, I understand more. Okay, take back what I said. So I got the waffle loose pants. This is the color talc and these are $68. I wanted to get the loose pants because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like sometimes I don't always want to be in joggers. Like I like that loose ankle fit. And I think that's something that a lot of brands like miss when it comes to like loungewear. They're always doing joggers, but they're never doing this loose pant fit, which now that I think about it, this could be too short for me. I don't know if they had multiple lengths. I don't think they did. That's something that they could be more inclusive on if they don't. Okay, I just clicked on a couple of their pants. None of them seem to come in extra lengths, which, you know, if you're trying to be inclusive of all bodies, we also have to think about different lengths. So like a short, medium, long would be nice, which Aerie does on a lot of their items and they definitely have some skims like pieces. So 
anyways, here are the pants. They have this little ribbed waistband, knit waffle like fabric, but they are lined with a super cozy fleece on the inside. The material is a 58% cotton, 38% polyester, 4% elastane. So we also do have a little bit of stretch to them, which is definitely important in my lounge pants. They also have zippered pockets, which is also rare to see on a sweatpant. Since we're doing a detailed review here, I'm really nitpicking, but they use like this blue thread to stitch the zipper on. Like, I don't know why you would choose that blue thread when all of the other thread matches the fabric. And it's also on the other side too. So I don't really get that. Maybe it's the kind of thread that like the color comes out and when you wash it, but oh no, <laughs> no, the drawstrings on the inside of the pants. Why do people put the drawstring on the inside of the pants? Alphalete does this all the time. It drives me insane. I hate the internal drawstrings. Just because when you want to tie them, it like bunches up at the front. We'll see when I put these on. Anyways, here's a close up of the waffle knit. Here's the waistband, it's just a little ribbed material. They have the Skims logo sewn on in the back. And you can see the inside is lined with a super plush fleece. So it's going to be very soft against your skin. Okay, I think I see the hype of these waffle pants. These are like so comfy. This is the kind of thing I like to wear around the house. You know, some looser ankles, just a more relaxed fit. I love that they have a little stretch to them. And the waffle is way softer than I expected. I think I've just tried some like waffle type materials in the past and they can just be kind of like itchy and rough. But since this is lined with that like super cozy fleece, these are actually really soft. I'm also loving how high rise they are. Seems like everything skims goes well above the belly button, which I love. There's nothing worse than a low rise pant for me. I don't feel my best in those. I love the zip pockets on these. I feel like that's really hard to find on like a home lounge pant. I don't love that the drawstring is on the inside. As you can see, I tied it here and it's kind of sitting on the outside, but the drawstring is meant to be on the inside. And then you get this nice awkward little lump and it never looks good. Stop putting the drawstrings on the inside of pants. It's just not a good look. These are also super long. I'm five foot nine and this is the only length that it comes in. So for me, I'm very happy because they're nice and full length on me, but my average to shorter ladies who are wearing these, um, you're gonna be swimming. So they definitely need a short length as well. Here's the back. They're just kind of like a basic pant, but yeah, these are one of the comfiest like home pants I've worn in a while. I don't know if I would like to spend the full $70 on them. Ideally, you know, I'd get them on sale or something. But yeah, these definitely over exceeded my expectations. So I got the Waffle Long Sleeve Henley. This is also in a size small. This one definitely seems a little small. Lots of these waffle pieces have like fuzz that's gonna come off probably like the first time you wear it. A little button up long sleeve situation. Just has a sewn hem at the end. It's not like folded over or anything. It has the same soft fleece on the inside. Okay, I was just like unbuttoning a couple of these buttons. Next to every button, there's like this pink like pen mark as if they were like trying to mark where the buttons go. I was starting to like this waffle stuff, but there's literally like pink marks all over it. That's so weird. There's pink marks on the top. There's like blue stitching on the bottom. I feel like we missed some quality control, which is so upsetting because this was becoming like my favorite stuff. But now I'm like, why would I trust buying it again? If I literally had an issue of like random color marks on both the tops and the bottoms. Has this happened to anyone else? Because it's on every single button that goes up. That can't be intentional. Okay, I'm a little upset. Like stuff is very expensive and that's kind of not okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna reach out to customer service because you know, ranting about it is one thing, but if they are going to do something about it and fix it with their customer service, then that speaks a lot to them as a company. So I guess we'll see. So I ended up emailing them about the pen marks on the shirt and they replied saying they could offer me a 30% refund on that shirt. And I just like, don't really think a 30% refund is enough for having like pen marks all over the shirt. In the past when I've had quality issues with honestly like several brands of different price points, I feel like they either like, you know, offer to send me a new one or like just like refund it. So a 30% refund seems a little stingy and I'm like not super happy with that. So I'm gonna ask if they will still accept the return considering that it came with the pen marks. Like I just don't want them to think that I'm returning it and I did the pen marks myself. That's another little tip. If you have a faulty item from a brand that you are returning, make sure to let them know that it arrived that way before you're returning your item so that they don't reject the return because there's an issue with it. I don't know, do you guys think that 30% is enough? 
for like pen marks. Anyways, let's talk about the Henley. Definitely very snug. So I'm wearing a size small, which is the size they recommended for the size chart, but it's very tight. Like the sleeves are super snug on me. As you can see, it's very tight along my bust here. It's just a little too tight for my taste. It's actually not uncomfortable because it's aligned with that soft fleece and it's generally like a soft stretchy fabric. But personally, I would just prefer a size up in the Henley. So you can stay true to size for a snug fit or size up for more of a relaxed fit. We have buttons that go all the way up to a pretty tight crew neck. So I just wanted to uncouple a few buttons just for comfort sake. It's like a kind of semi cropped to full length. It goes right to my hips. So with wearing the high rise pants, we're not showing any skin and barely any skin when I lift up my arms. So I wouldn't consider this a crop. Like I was saying, you just have this one seam along the hem. It's not like a fold over hem or anything. So hopefully that holds up over time. It's the same hemline on the bottom. It has the Skims logo right in the middle here. Okay, this is the back. This is the seam along the back. So yeah, it's cute, it's soft. Um, I actually really love this set, but we're gonna see about the pen marks. Next, I got the cotton ribbed tank and it's so small. Um, this one was definitely sold out in most colors and sizes. So I had to get a size medium in this one, which normally I'm a small, so if it's a little bigger, we're not gonna be surprised. This one's $34, which is cheap compared to everything else we've discussed, but still maybe a little expensive for just a little tank here. You know, $34 isn't too bad, especially since this is the kind of brand that I would try to buy on sale. I don't know how often they have sales. I have to assume that this stuff goes on sale because are people really spending like $70 on a cotton t-shirt dress a lot? Because it wouldn't be me. Just a very basic 95% cotton, 5% elastane. A lot of these like lighter weight pieces don't feel the most like Luxurious, just a basic cotton tee. Well, let's get a close up. Here is the fabric, and this is what the hems look like. Let's try this on. Okay, so here's the tank. I like that the cropped tank and leggings went together. They don't show a lot of skin, so you still kind of have that like crop top vibe, but it's not like exposing your whole stomach. It's a very thin basic tank. I love that it comes in a lot of sizes and everything. I think personally, when it comes to just little cotton basics like this. I prefer to get them just a little more affordable because the quality to me doesn't feel like it's going to be something that lasts like 10 times longer than something I could find at Target. We have like a kind of square-ish scoop neck here and scoops around the shoulders too. Yes, don't mind my scratch. I was playing with Pinto this morning and he decided he was done playing. So he used my arm as a launch pad and he scratched my arm. And then here's the back. It's just a cotton, even on the inside, it's not lined with anything super fuzzy or fleece-like. Um, I don't think that this one is sheer. I'm wearing like a pretty neutral bra color, but I feel like it's not showing through or anything. So it's definitely okay. I would probably just wait to buy it on sale if it was, because this isn't something like I couldn't live without. And then I got the cotton ribbed leggings in a size small. And these ones I've talked about on my TikTok before because I just don't understand the appeal of wanting to look like you're wearing men's boxers in a pair of leggings. I know that these aren't active wear, but I just feel like these are going to look a little a little frumpy. I don't know. That's what that's what I'm feeling at the moment. So these are $52 and there's just a lot of like little lounge leggings that you can get like again from Amazon, Target for like 20, you know, or less. So I just don't know if I would spend the money on these, but we'll give them a try. These definitely scream more like long underwear if anyone's ever been like, you know, skiing. That's what these remind me of. There's a little cuff at the bottom of the ankle and here's a close up. It is just an elastic waistband at the top, which generally isn't always the most flattering just because it's either too tight or too loose and then it kind of like ribbons up. And then here's that lovely seam that makes you look like you're wearing men's boxers. I don't know, maybe it's a trend that people like and I'm just not into it. Okay, <laughs> the leggings. I just, I just don't feel like this was a necessary addition to the leggings. So I personally would not wear these out of the house. I just feel like this really just looks like an undergarment to me. And like I said, they just are like a little frumpy overall. They're not like the most snug leggings, which makes them more comfy. Like we have a little space here, a little space here. So they're definitely like a cozy lounge legging vibe. We have that elastic waistband. This one fits me pretty well. It's not cutting into me or anything. We're definitely getting some of that like ribboning looseness just because this type of elastic waistband is really hard to fit perfectly. But yeah, I just don't really feel like these are like doing anything for me. Um, I see the point of like a comfy lounge legging, but personally I prefer to wear a cozy jogger at home, one that ideally has 
pockets or something, you know, so I can hold stuff when I'm walking around the house, like my phone. And yeah, I also question how sheer these are, but if you're not wearing them outside your house, not like it really matters. So yeah, this could be cute as a little lounge set. I just don't think it's my thing. And lastly, I got some of the outdoor fleece. I feel like I don't really fear people talking about these that much, but I also don't like follow skims super closely, but this is definitely aimed towards like outdoor lifestyle wear, not just like lounge wear. So I got the outdoor fleece zip up for $68. Okay, so it's essentially like a little, oh, I didn't know it was like, kind of semi-cropped. I don't feel like this is gonna be like full, full length hoodie, but I actually love hoodies that end right at the waistband or like a tiny bit longer and aren't like super, super long, just personal preference. And it said it was a fleece hoodie, which I guess one could call this entire material fleece, but it's actually lined with a terry material. So it's not going to have that fuzzy fleece lining. So here's the outside fabric, just a classic sweatshirt material and the inside is a terry lining. And just since this is kind of claiming to be a luxury brand, I always look at the seams and I feel like my zipper seam is kind of coming undone because we look at this side, which isn't quite tacked down all the way there. And this side definitely looks a little more tacked down to me. So I'm not like totally blown away at the quality so far, but let's try this sweatshirt on. I'm excited about the length. Okay, so here's the hoodie and this material is feeling a little bit thinner than I expected on. Like it's not feeling like that thick, plush sweatshirt that I expect out of like a 60 to $70 sweatshirt here. And it's a little more cropped than I expected. Like we definitely are going to see some skin when you raise your arms. I have a long torso. So for most people, this might go down a little bit lower, but for me, I just like a teeny bit longer, but I feel like together, this is kind of cute. You can unzip it and this is kind of how it would be unzipped. Again, it's just not super soft on the inside. It's not that fuzzy fleece lining. And this is a small, which I have many sweatshirts in a size small. And I would say it's not the most relaxed fit. Like I have a little bit of space here, but it's pretty snug. And I also feel like the sleeves like maybe aren't quite long enough for me. So personally, I would size up in the sweatshirt just to be a little more relaxed, but it's not too tight on me. So I think you could stay true to size. But yeah, the sweatshirt just doesn't feel super thick, plush, luxurious. And I did already notice some quality issues. So I don't think this would be like a go-to sweatshirt for me, especially for the splurge. Yeah, and I just noticed we don't have pockets on the sweatshirt either. There's no pockets on the sweatshirt or the pants. I need some pockets. <laughs> like. There's room to put pockets on here. Like, why wouldn't you? And then last thing, we have the outdoor fleece joggers. These are $58, which kind of seems expensive for, you know, fleece joggers, sweatpants. But honestly, a lot of sweatshirt and like jogger companies and everything or brands that make those have been getting pretty pricey lately. So it's not the worst I've seen. I mean, like a Lululemon sweatshirt like that would be like $130, so. Okay, so it's the same material. Again, these only come in one length. Um, I personally would like to see multiple lengths. Trust strings on the inside of pants again. Same material, elastic waistband, and just the classic little jogger cuff at the bottom. Let's try these on. Okay, so I'm liking these more than I thought. Uh, first of all, they are like super long. I'm 5'9". Um, measurements always in the description down below. The fact that these have extra room, even for me, like I could like put these over my heels. My short girls, you might be drowning in these. So keep that in mind if you're on the shorter side. Oh my gosh, there's no pockets. That's kind of lame. I like to have some pockets in my sweatpants. So some things I like about these, I like the length just personally because I don't want my joggers to be too short. I love the rise height. Like these are super high rise. They're going above my belly button and I have a long torso, so definitely nice and high rise. They're also nice and snug in the waist and I didn't even tie this little drawstring yet. Is this even a drawstring? What the heck? Oh no, it's a loop. Oh, even worse. Okay, anyways, I didn't feel the need to do anything with the drawstring because they're already snug enough. So definitely true to size. They're a little bit snug on my glutes here, but I don't feel restricted by it. And they have like a tiny bit of stretch to them. So there's a little bit of flexibility if you have glutes and thighs that are on the larger size for your size range. So definitely love how they fit me. Some things I don't love. I really hate the loop drawstrings. I still don't know how to tie them. I know there must be a way. I think that they, oh my gosh, am I figuring out? Is that literally all you do? You just tie them in a bow like that? Okay, okay, that works for me. So they tie just like a shoelace apparently, but I still don't like the internal drawstrings because if they get a little bit too big, they can kind of like poke out a little bit and look kind of funny. So don't love that. I also would prefer a fleece lining as opposed to this terry lining, although it is a little bit softer than I expected. It's not quite as soft and 
thick and cozy as a fleece. I don't like that there's no pockets, but I guess they don't have a seam down the side either, so they couldn't really do a pocket, but that is kind of a deal breaker for me. And they're just very basic joggers for the price tag. This just isn't hitting every mark for me. So yeah, overall, I would say true to size, but as you can see, it's not super baggy on me. So if you want a more relaxed fit, I would definitely size up. So that's it for the review. If you made it this far and you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. We're always reviewing fun new brands on this channel. If you guys would like me to try their shapewear and everything, I've definitely been intrigued by their bras that are like fit everyone kind of thing. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that at some point. Overall, it's definitely pricey stuff, but I feel like a lot of it was really cozy, but some things just didn't quite hit the mark for me. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried skims, if there's any good items I didn't try today or what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.